Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot. Let's take a minute to talk about doing good. Doing good for a local charity and doing good for your business. You know, lots of times we create promotions to help build and grow our haircut business. And some of those promotions are very successful and others of them less so, depending on what we've programmed and how we put it all together. I want to add the idea that when creating a promotion to help build and grow your business, adding a charitable element is one surefire way to see that promotion be even more successful. We want to do charity because charity is the right thing to do for various organizations and programs within your community. We also want to do charity because it feels good. It feels good to help people. And we got into this business because this business of haircutting is really a business of helping people. And there's a third very good reason to do some charity, and that is when you tie a charitable element to a sales promotion for your business, it just helps that promotion rock a little harder and build a little more business. I do have some tips when it comes to choosing a charity and making a charity promotion work for your business. Number one on the list is use charity as part of your promotion. I think we just explained that point right there. Number two on the list is pick well. I think you need to be careful and selective when choosing a charity that you wish to support for your business. I think you need to choose something that has a very broad appeal, and I think you need to stay away from charitable ideas that can be divisive. An example of that is I think it's best to avoid charities related to religion and related to illness. The reason for that is, while there are people who will get behind a particular religious-based charity, there are other people for whom, if that is not their religion of choice, and everyone's free to choose the religion they wish, they might be feeling as though they're left out or though this is not for them. And the same thing goes with illness. While we may choose to get behind an illness, for instance, diabetes, sometimes there are people for whom their pet charity might be heart disease who might feel, eh, that's not for me, or eh, they're not really supporting my thing. And it's terrible to think that in choosing to do charitable good, you could receive some backlash, blowback, or negative response from some folks out there, but I think you just need to be realistic. My suggestion for safe places to go, number one, hungry. Charities related to feeding people, and there's always plenty of need and plenty of demand for these types of charities in every community. And number two is kids. Charitable organizations that benefit children in some way. Go with feeding children, you got a double whammy of good. But there can be children's charities related to illness or children's charities related to education. And I think you can play really well with some of those charities because they have such broad-based appeal. Who's going to say no to feeding the hungry? Who's going to say no to kids? It's a great way to play that. The next thing on the list is to partner for a promotion. When you choose a charity that you wish to do something beneficial for in conjunction with a sales promotion, reach out to that charity very early on in the planning process. Don't just run a promotion that's good for ABC Food Bank, write ABC Food Bank a check and call it a day. Because any organization within your community that has a broad reach probably has an army of people who are devoted to that charity who would be happy to devote some time and energy to a promotion that benefited their preferred or favorite charity. So if you get their army mobilized to support your promotion, it helps the charity and it helps you in a big way. Next on the list is track and measure. Anytime we do anything promotional, I'm a big believer. We want to track what we do. We want to record what we do. We want to account what we do. We want to measure what we do. Not only to know that, yes, this promotion itself was a success, but also to have the data and have the information that the next time we might run a promotion like this, we can tweak, we can modify, and we can adjust. Things that went well, double down. Things that didn't go so well, where can we make slight changes that'll make this promotion that much more effective when we anniversary it? And one of the big keys to successful promotion is looking for a spot on the calendar the following year to anniversary a promotion that had been successful. Your clients and your community will come to look forward to some of the initiatives that you use for promotion that they continue to support and find beneficial. Lastly, track after the fact. You know, if you run a promotion, for instance, let's say a promotion that runs through the entire month of May, where a portion of the proceeds of a purchase will be donated to a key charity, 
you've got about 90 days to work with. You've got a month to talk about the promotion before the event. You've got the month that is the event and you've got the month to talk about the promotion after the event. Therefore, an individual promotion can be leveraged for social media content and interaction and promotion and conversation and discussion literally for three months. Now think about it. If you partner with an individual charity on an annual basis and you do something to benefit that charity four times a year and each one of those promotions runs for three months, you literally have an entire calendar year of promotional activity because you're always prepping for one, you just got done finishing another, and you're in the midst of that one, it fills up your promotional calendar and it makes it very easy for you to really partner well with an organization that is a quality organization that you wish to benefit and that can benefit your business in a positive way. I look forward to learning a little bit about what charitable promotions you're running, what's worked for you, and we can share it within our community to a greater extent so that everyone can run better promotions and can build and grow your business. I'm Ivan Zoot. That's my job. Comment, like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, you know all that housekeeping stuff, and go to the link in the description here and join my community on Patreon, patreon.com slash Ivan Thanks for taking a moment to watch the video. I look forward to working with you. Have a great day.